Bug, do you have to leave tonight? Yeah, I've really got to be at that meeting in Seoul by morning. Merger can't wait on me now, can it? Now you know full well that I have no clue whether it can or can't. At any rate, I'm going to need you to put Celebi to bed tonight. Yeah, me. Can't you stay just a little longer? Oh, she won't bite. Yes, I will. And I will draw whatever liquid flows through your cosmic veins, Daddy. Cosmic veins. Night. Okie dokie. <laughs> Daddy's completely scared out of his wits. <laughs> well, let's get in our jam jams and I'll read you a story before bedtime. Correction. I will continue to wear my signature flower tutu. Of horror! And you will not read me a story, Daddy. You will make one up. One where I am the heroine and all shall tremble. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna need some help on this one. Thank you for calling Gabby's. Our hours of operation are... It's me! Henry Kissinger? No! Ugh. Could you come over and help me tuck in Celebi? Who? You know, the maniacal psychic child that Lante and I adopted last month. Oh, Celebi! Why did you say so? I'll be right over. PK Teleport Alpha! <laughs> oh, very well, I'll just call a cab. Tell me more, Daddy, tell me more. And so the sweet little girl wanted to be a princess. No, she did it. She wanted to become an empress, complete with a fanatically devoted royal guard draped in crimson. As she sat in front of a spiderweb-like viewport, she proclaimed haughtily, everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. Your friends up there on the sanctuary moon are walking into a trap. As is your rebel fleet. It was I who allowed the Alliance to know the location of the shielded generator. And my most loyal lackey will declare it is pointless to resist. And at that point she knew full well that the Ewoks could pose a threat. So the genre savvy Empress had them teleported to the nearest Build-A-Bear workshop where they fetched $14.95 apiece. Wicket was the first as hell and Chief Chirper the last and then peace was written restored to the galaxy. Okay, that was unendingly creepy. Now, why don't we go to bed? Water. Water? No, water. Water. I'd like a glass of water, Daddy. Mineral water with a single ice cube. Any more and there will be tantrums. Oh, the tantrums there shall be. Any less and there will be consequences beyond your wildest reckoning. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I didn't know what you wanted me to bring, so I brought a whole bunch of R-rated movies. What? Did I say R? I meant G. I always get those two mixed up. By the way, I think I might have lent your Aunt B some questionable material. Yeah, she's seen worse. Hey, you look a little different. I had my last reconstructive surgery recently. In the future, I'll try not to step on tails. Or bully people at all, for that matter. Nice. Anyway, what movies did you bring? I brought a crossover Pixar DreamWorks film. Let's see here. Puss in Boots versus Buzz Lightyear. That's a potential classic. Is that Celebi? Is that a patronizing adult? Yes. Yes, it is. Nobody patronizes Celebi. I mean Celebi. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for, oh, I'm sleepy, losing consciousness, exhausted daily energy supply. No, must find. Stuffed animal hammock. Cannot sleep without you. Wanky. She's out like a light. How about you and me get our Puss in Boots versus Buzz Lightyear on? Sounds like a plan to me. Hey, Deckhand. Actually, I'm the resident CPA. Oh, sorry about that. How soon will we be in Seoul? I'll ask the cat. Yeah. Captain. One of our passengers wants to know how soon we'll arrive in Seoul. I was under the impression that we were on our way to Singapore. Arr, best me, Smuggy. A passenger, have we? Arr, knew we shouldn't have stopped at that commercial airport for refueling. Just asking for a misinterpretation of our services, were we? Arr. Oh, well, take a detour, then we will, says I. Arr. Hoist the mainsail and weigh anchor. Tell the crew we'll be eating kimchi tonight, Arr. Okie dokie.